RPG Unmaker, because everyone needs f***ed up feedback. Remember FDIC, void or prohibited. <laughs>PG Unmaker series. Let's get right back into it where we left off. When last we saw this terrible, terrible menu, uh, we had just finished killing a bunch of bandits to rescue the item from this house right here, the shed in the middle of a forest where uh, Mr. Brody, who was back in town sitting on his torrid butt, hit his very important item and uh, we got this elf girl who well, I guess she's not an elf we just got this girl here who doesn't have a period at the end of her sentence and um, kind of just showed up randomly in the middle of the fight while we were killing bandits so uh, we're just gonna go ahead and keep going here and uh, I guess we get this girl permanently now and, you know, now we can see how good she is, like we couldn't yesterday. She's an archer, like we saw during the fight. But, uh, you know, so far, um, <clears throat> I'd like to give back some, you know, feedback in case I didn't make it clear where we stood uh, through the first three episodes. So for uh, Kings of RPGs or whatever your name... Wait a minute. Well... Okay, we can't even get inside there, so I guess we're not supposed to. I guess we're supposed to head back. So, uh, for feedback, uh, I just want to point out a couple things. Number one, the battle system is great. I mean, you know, everyone... You can't not like the Shining Force battle system. I mean, it's the tactical battle system. That's like... That's the game or the series, except for possibly Fire Emblem, that invented the tactical battle system. So, you know, that's great. But you need to get some more variety in uh, battle animations, and you need to get some more variety in uh, uh, monster types, because, you know, we fought, like, a few battles so far, and all we fought are slimes. And, you know, bandits are good, all well and good, but they have the same animation as the slimes. And, you know, that's the good... The other good thing, I mean, I, I told you I like this river here in your map, uh, and then there's some also some other things like, uh, you know, I like the fact that, <clears throat> you know, well, okay, I, you know, I'm trying to be nice. I like the battle system, but really there's a lot of stuff here that needs work. Stuff like this, this black square right here, you know, nobody is going to realize what that is. Nobody's just going to realize that you have to walk up to that and actually push the button. So if you want to use a black square at the end of your map to signify, you know, changing to another area, you should put it not even or not sticking out, but pushing inward up here, like one tile past this black square. So it looks like you can walk past this and make it so you don't have to hit the button when you get near it. Otherwise, you'll see me do like what I did in the last segment, which is run around like a moron trying to figure out how to get through to the forest. Uh, your next problem is this. I mean, I was... <laughs> uh, come on, man. I mean, really, I, did you look at this and think it was good? I mean, you've got the green grid going through the green text, the green borders. And I mean, it just looks like... It, it just it just doesn't work. I mean, it looks like a, a Photoshop disaster gone wrong. I mean, come on. Really? I mean, really, 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 and then there's this, which is, you know, the same sort of deal. You shouldn't have to press the action button or the, the X button or whatever this is to, what the heck? Oh my gosh, you can jump in this? <laughs> what the heck? Why did you... <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> oh my lord, dude. What, what? Can you jump out? You can't jump out here. Oh, yes, you can. Wait, why would you want to do this? This is freaking ridiculous. You saw the. 
Dude looks like a freaking spaz, man. What is going on here? Okay. So, but yeah. And, I mean, these houses look sort of all the same. And, uh, I mean, they all have different doors, but they all have the same roof and the same, you know, walls. The same story and... I mean, I don't know. I don't know what, what like one of these games is supposed to really look like because my experience with these type of games is pretty limited in terms of you know what what this program is capable of. Because like I said before, the game I tried to make was so horrible that I'm never gonna look at it again. So uh, anyway, moving right along, we're just gonna keep going where we left off, and uh, you know this is the only store in town, and well. This chick has boots. This chick doesn't have any boots. I'm gonna buy this chick some boots and then we're gonna keep going. Anyway, uh, a couple big things. Yeah, the biggest things that you need to fix are the menu and, you know, the stuff like this, you need to make it more clear where you're supposed to go when you're trying to transfer maps. I mean, that's just, you know, common sense. You don't want your players to run around like morons trying to figure out where they're supposed to go. So, uh, let's get right on to it. Um, Brody, Aaliyah, what are you doing here? And why are you with Carter and Daryl? Uh, Brody knows this girl. Uh, uh, I w I rebe be? You abandoned all oh, the plot thickens. <clears throat> Mr. Anderson abandoned this girl. Uh oh, oh, oh. But but not now, Carter. Mr. Anderson is hiding things from Daryl and Carter and now dude's just like gonna not pretend I'm not here. I'm gonna walk up to him and he's just gonna be like, nope, f you, I don't care, I'm not here. Wow. Alright, so. Let's we'll try to figure out where we're supposed to go now. Dude wanted some privacy, so I guess let's go back to our house and go to bed or something. Come back tomorrow. I don't know if that's what I'm supposed to do, but I guess we'll find out. Gonna chop some celery sticks! Celery. Yeah, let's rest. Let's rest. I don't know, I still don't know if that's what I'm supposed to do, but I don't know. Oh nice, it got dark. What's this like dusk? It's like sunset now. That's pretty cool, man. You know, shows the passing of time and Yeah, what we're supposed to do. And now these two are done staring at each other. Carter, Daryl, if you didn't notice, me and Ali are acquaintances. Nah, no, you think? We used to fight together in the army. You used to be in the army, Mr. Brody? Oh, was good friends with your father. Oh, uh, is this gonna be, are you gonna be like at the end? Carter, I am your father. Planning, giving you money. His dying wish was for me to take care of you. I left the army and came here to watch over you too. He'd saved my life many times, but before, so I've been training you for battles so you could follow him. Well, aren't you such an altruist? That explains a lot. I apologize for all the secrecy, but it was easiest to train you and keep you alive when you didn't know the whole truth and nothing but the truth, so help you God. We are going to go back to camp now where our squad in the army is resting. If you would like, you can join us. What? You guys are still in the army, so... What? 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 So, you left the army to take care of us, and now, like, how many, ever many years later, you know, you're just here, and now you're just going to walk back. Okay, our job's done. We're just going to walk back to the squad now. Why don't you come with us? Oh, it's another earthquake. And the bandits again. This town is just SOL, really. You know, slimes show up, then bandits show up, then everyone else shows up, and... Wait, what? What'd you say? 
You two have never killed a person. Oh. Okay. Let's roll. Oh, we got Mr. Uh, Mr. Badass over here with his mirrors and his storeroom walls and his his thing. Bandit E. Bandit F. Bandit G. This bandit's a G. Wait. Wait. What is going on? Hey, kings of RPGs. All right, look, man. If your story, if you're gonna make your story consistent, you know this Brody is supposed to be such this, you know, great warrior, or whatever, and he's got. 300 less HP than this guy who he's supposed to have been teaching how to fight. I mean, I realize the master, you know, is supposed to get surpassed by their apprentice eventually, but I mean, come on, the game just started. I mean, come on now. And this guy is supposed to be, you know, so great. Look at his stats compared to, I mean, if you're going to have your story reflect, you know, characters being more experienced or whatever, and you've got to like have the stats and stuff reflect that or it doesn't make sense to everybody else. It no make, it no comprende, it no make a sense or it no, no, no understand or it, it, uh, yeah. So we're going to plow through this battle, uh, we've got four characters now. And uh, I probably shouldn't have moved that girl up there where she can get killed by that bandit. But, I guess that's just the way things go over here in Razor Sharp Moon. The battle music has still not changed. My brain is going to fry. It's going to go... Okay, well, now, let's move you here, attack him first, okay, well, at least you're getting just a little bit more strategy now in these fights, it's not just such a ridiculous pushover, this bandit over here is running off. Mr. Anderson has the same skill as the guy he's been teaching. That's great. Freaking weakling. Got a bunch of weaklings on my team. Oh. You know, I gotta stop doing that. I just can't help it. It's like the, the beginning of the battle is just so obnoxious. That, that music just keeps getting to me every single time. Alright, let's see what we got here. We got two bandits over here. We've got. Who are you? Oh, you're the bandit leader. And down here we got one, two, three, four bandits down there. Alright, so. I think. Uh, and why? Why is Brody weaker than the guy he's supposed to train? It doesn't make any sense. Alright, so we're going to send you this way to deal with the leader, and I'm going to send you over here, along with you. And really, man, these fights are just taking way too long. Oh, you got to shore up some of these fights a bit, you know, either make the map smaller, make the... The bandits start closer to you when the battle starts, or I don't know, give give the players more movement with each uh, you know each turn, because I can only move three squares. So you know it's kind of a it's kind of a problem here. I'll move you down here. Let's finish this guy off. But at least we're out of slime territory. We're not gonna have to fight any slimes anymore. Instead, we're gonna fight Bond. 